Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be showing you how to make uh, homemade dextrin glue. Uh, first, of all, first of all, I'm going to show you how to make the dextrin uh, from cornstarch. Then we're going to mix it together with uh, flour and make some hide paste. Uh, this particular recipe has been around for decades and has been used in taxidermy for, for many, many years. So I want to show you how to make it and use it. Now, first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven. 430 degrees uh, or 220 degrees Celsius. Now once this your oven reaches this temperature you need to cut it back to 400 degrees and if when you're uh, if you're going by Celsius and once your oven reaches 220 degrees you need to cut it back to 200 degrees. Next we're going to take our cornstarch and we're going to evenly spread this out onto our cookie sheet and our aluminum foil. I'm just going to dump the whole box in this one. We want to take a spoon and evenly spread this out. Just like so. What we're doing is making dextrin. We're going to bake this cornstarch until it's nice and brown, and this will convert. Next, I'm going to put my pan into my oven. Now, this is a convectionary oven. I'm going to have to watch the temperature on this a little bit closer. Uh, I've got it set at 300 about 390 degrees on this one this convection area will heat a little bit hotter however in your regular oven you're in your kitchen uh, heat your oven up to 430 once it reaches that cut it back to 400 degrees and stick your mixture or your your corn starts in there for 30 minutes Okay, once um, baked for the first 30 minutes, you need to take a spoon or some high view utensil and stir your uh, cornstarch thoroughly. And once you get it stirred, even it back out, spread it back out, and stick it back in the oven. 400 degrees for another 30 minutes and repeat the process three more times or for the next hour and a half now it's been two hours baking uh, in my little oven down here in my shop uh, and as you can see this has turned into a really pretty golden brown uh, now instead of being cornstarch we have dextrin um, a lot of supply companies sells dextrin and they sell it by I think by five pound bags uh, you can buy cornstarch uh, at the grocery store for about a dollar dollar thirty something like that and uh, this will make up a batch of uh, hide glue. So, uh, so instead of having to buy it, just buy you up some cornstarch and bake this for a couple of hours and into a nice golden brown. And um, you have your dextrin for your glue. Now that we've got our dextrin made, we're going to mix it together with some flour and we're going to make some hide glue out of this. Now it's real important to measure everything to get this uh, uh, blend equal and get it right. So all of my dextrin I have right now is a little over two cups. Uh, so I'm going to spoon some out and then we'll add this later in another batch. As you can see I have two cups of dextrin. I'm going to pour this in. Next we're going to add two cups of flour, a 50-50 mix. 
Okay, the flour that I'm using is just a plain old self-rising flour. Uh, uh, so just any flour will do with this. Uh, so again, pour this out to a equal amount. I'm going to pour out two cups. And we're going to mix this in with our dextrin. Next, I'm going to mix in some hot water. Uh, use some tap water be fine a hot tap water uh, I'm wanting to mix this in as I need to and I'm not going to totally uh, make it real soup I'm going to try to make this into a fairly thick batter I'm going to start out with just this amount again and uh, also you need to go find you a mixer of some sort uh, I've got this one at uh, one of the convenience stores for about six bucks and I use it down here in my shop often. Now as you can see the dextrin is starting to turn and my glue has gotten thick and it's uh, gotten brown. I've had to go to a smaller container. Uh, continue mixing this until you get a real creamy consistency. Um, if you need a little bit thicker, you may add you a little bit of flour, a bit of uh, some flour. Uh, but continue mixing this until it's a nice, even, consistent blend. Uh, get all the grainy stuff out of it. Uh, this is really good glue. Uh, so continue mixing this until you get a real nice, even blend. Next, I'm going to add just a little bit of pine saw or pine cleaner, whatever you want to call it, uh, to this. This will help cut back on the uh, uh, mold that could build up in your container along with your mixture. Um, this will water this down a little bit. Again, you may need to add some more dextrin and some more flour to your, to your mixture here. But the uh, pine saw will help keep the bacteria down in your glue. Uh, another thing you can do also, this is optional for a little extra stick. Um, after this cools down, this has got hot, you know, warm water in it, it's just still somewhat warm. Uh, you can add some Elmer's glue to this um, if you wish. It's optional. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, but uh, you can add just, you know, maybe a, a half a cup of Elmer's glue to this uh, just for a little bit of extra oomph. So, but uh, here's the thing about it do not add the glue, the Elmer's glue, to this mixture until it completely cools down. If you do add the Elmer's glue while it's still hot, the, the Elmer's will curdle and then your um, a, a hide glue or hide paste is ruined and then you have to start all over again. So let this cool down first. Now once I'm through with my mixture I'm going to go ahead and put this into a container, a, uh, a bucket of some sort that I can seal back up. And then we're going to store this in somewhere that's nice and cool. I suggest put this into your refrigerator. Um, this could sour, it could go to the bed. And it should be good for several weeks as long as it's being refrigerated.